And I'm going to ask a personal question to end on. You'll like this one. The cost of living is low in Oklahoma, but our state elected officials are among the top ten paid officials in the nation. Would you support reform to elected officials' pay and to support the freeze of your benefits? I'll take it. You know, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. Um, uh, you need to know the three of us have nothing to do. All three of us were elected and went up there, and that's, that's the, the, the salary that we made. There is an independent commission that sets uh, those salaries. You are correct, we're one of the highest in, in, the, in the nation. Um, you've got volunteer, you take Texas, you hear all the time, Texas is, I think they get maybe $400 a month, but their office expense is just incredible in regards to the amount of money that they get for office expense that pay for their, their uh, individuals working in their office, when in our particular case, that's just picked up by the state like in the payroll. So I would have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. I, I just wouldn't, but again, we have no control over that. Uh, I'm not taking the state health care benefits. I think I signed up for some of the retirement. Um, it'd be fine with me. I'll say that one of the things we want to preserve in Oklahoma is part-time legislators. Um, I think that that is something that was very intrinsically um, um, valuable in the way they set it up. Because you want people representing you who are also working alongside you in your communities. So that's something I'm, I want to preserve in Oklahoma as long as Oklahoma is a state.